Hi, I'm Dr. Shari Lewis Salins. I'm Professor and Head, Department of Radiation Oncology at Kasturba Medical College, Manipal. Today, I'm going to speak to you about advanced radiation technology for cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is one of the very common cancers among women worldwide. In India, it's one of the second most common cancer and radiation plays a very important role in the treatment of cervical cancer. Cervical cancer is diagnosed early among the Western or developed countries. However, in our country, we still have about 60 to 70 percent of women presenting in locally advanced stages. Cervical cancer presents with symptoms of bleeding per vaginum. It's commonly seen in women above the age of 50 years and the common presenting symptom is bleeding per vagina, postmenopausal bleeding, in advanced stages, the symptoms could be pain in the abdomen, lower back or bleeding through. In advanced cases, the symptoms could be pain in the lower abdomen, backache, bleeding in the urine or through the rectum. The main diagnostic treatment would be the diagnostic approach for cervical cancer involves MRI of the pelvis, CT scan, biopsy. Based on the FIGO, we stage the patients from stage 1 to 4. Now, this locally advanced stages would be from 1B3 to stage 4 and chemoradiation plays a very important role in the treatment of cervical cancer. Now, with the advanced technology treatments, the 5-year survival with cervical cancer is over 70 to 80 percent. Since radiation plays a very important role in treatment, it is composed of two major modalities that is external beam radiation and brachytherapy. The technique of radiation has evolved from over last 30 to 50 years. The recommended treatment modality now to treat is with IMRT or VMAT. This involves treating the lower pelvis, which is the cervix, the uterus, vagina, and the pelvic nodes. This advanced technique, that is VMAT or IMRT, involves treatment of the tumor and the involved nodal regions to a high dose, while it gives a very low dose to the surrounding normal organs. This is very important because we want to reduce the doses to these normal organs as much as possible to reduce the risk of side effects both during treatment as well as after treatment even up to 5 to 10 years after treatment. In addition, the three patients require internal radiation which is called as brachytherapy. Brachytherapy also has evolved and now we have advanced modalities of treatment like intracavitary with interstitial brachytherapy. These are both CT-based and MRI-based brachytherapy techniques and there are advanced applicators which help to deliver a very high dose to the tumor. Both external and brachytherapy together are a complete treatment for cervical cancer. We intend to deliver a dose of more than 84 gray to the tumor which will not be possible without the use of advanced brachytherapy techniques. The brachytherapy technique involves inserting tubes through the uterus and the surrounding tumor in the form of needles which will help to deliver this very high dose and because we integrate CT and MRI based imaging techniques it is possible to give the highest dose to the tumor while reducing the dose to the bladder rectum and the bowel with the use of these advanced techniques we could achieve a cure rate of more than 70 to 80 percent even in the presence of advanced tumors extending into the bladder or even even in the presence of lymph nodes. This is primarily going to reduce the risk of late side effects with regard to the bladder, rectum and the bowel with the incidence rates less than 5%. So to conclude, the treatment of cervical cancer would require a combination of external beam radiation and brachytherapy which is in the form of VMAT and image-based brachytherapy using CT or MRI-based brachytherapy which could deliver a high dose to the tumor more than 84 gray resulting in high cure rate with very low toxicity rates of less than 5%. Thank you.